Welcome to the park. Uh, my name is John. Uh, great to be with you uh, today. I get waves from the crowd. That's pretty cool. Uh, and, uh, they are uh, ready to go. Hey, uh, remember to uh, sign the attendance pad that uh, is in the row uh, that you are sitting in. Let us know that you are here. There are prayer cards uh, as well in the seat backs uh, that uh, we would love to be able to pray for you and with you. So we're uh, doing a, a short little two-part series. Uh, basically, as we approach next Sunday and the lunch we're having after after worship, we'll say a little bit more about that uh, again uh, at the end. But I uh, really want to encourage you to keep that on your calendar and uh, plan to stay for lunch, bring some bring some food in for lunch, too. Uh, and uh, we're going to talk vision and kind of next steps and things going on uh, for the park. And so th this uh, this two-part series uh, is uh, titled Following the Heart of God, uh, really looking at, at what God's heart is because that's what we want to imitate. And I was reminded about a, a visit that I made to the Cleveland Clinic many years ago to a, a very ill uh, young man who unfortunately did not survive. Uh, but, uh, but I was there, and, and as I walked in, I, I remember, you know, just for whatever reason, I was more attentive the first time I had been there. Uh, you know, and I, you, you see family members, and, and you see doctors, and you see nurses, caregivers, and then of all things, you saw sick people at the hospital. And the Holy Spirit just barged right into my thoughts, didn't ask permission, Kind of jumped right in, and and he said, uh, you know, so you're not surprised to find sick people at the hospital. What kind of people should you find around church? And so I started thinking about it, and I said, well, I think you would find the kind of people around a church that match the purpose of the church. So so if the purpose of church A, let's say, is to help already Christians keep being Christians, then you would expect to find Christians around the church. And if church B, if their purpose was you know, to socialize and, and be a community club, if, if you will, then you would find people who were you know, real interested in, in that and not a lot of depth in worship and study and such. And if church C, if their purpose was to spread the gospel of Jesus and bring people to faith in Christ, then you would expect to find people who aren't yet Christians. And all of this, of course, took place in a, in a split second as I'm, as I'm walking in, in, into the Cleveland Clinic. And, and I, was really, I was really struck by it. What kind of people should we want to have around? following the heart of God. What kind of people does God want to have around a church? That's what we're going to look at a bit today. You know, we're also, uh, here we are on uh, September 11th, 15 years later. And uh, I don't think you can go, uh, you can go past uh, uh, this day without uh, having uh, at least some memories and some feelings one way or another. Uh, for me, this, uh, this anniversary is a reminder that uh, one of my swim team teammates when I was 11 years old was the first body found at bottom of the towers. Bottom of the towers. And uh, so it's a, it's a reminder to me of the reality of, uh, of the shortness of life uh, and uh, the reality unfortunately of our world. You only have to look at a streetcar and say yesterday in a basin Not in our bank accounts, not in, not 
in anything that's temporary. But our hope and our trust is in you. We say it with our heads. We, we want to believe it in our hearts and we want to live it out in our lives. So, uh, so God, help us to live free in you that we might help this world live in freedom. Protect us, guard us, guide us as we seek after you. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.